Now to our other top story, six to seven inches of rainfall from last night have flooded streets, yards and driveways in Volusia County. Some residents are spending the day cleaning up and are worried about what the next shower can bring in the future. West Houston Night Governor Gettigas is live for us from Edgewater and tonight one neighborhood got it pretty bad out there. Yeah, Luana, we're in the Florida Shores neighborhood. One woman invited us to show us what a soggy mess her backyard is right now. I'm actually trying to walk carefully just because some parts are well over ankle deep and you can kind of see a river is sitting right behind her home and she actually tried digging up a path, kind of like a trail to redirect the standing water just so it has somewhere else to go. And the mosquitoes are out here. We can kind of smell like a mop water sense. She thinks it'll be days until all of this dries up. She's lived here for about six years, has never seen it this bad, and her neighbors tell us the same. We were all praying, oh my goodness. Streets covered in water, mailboxes almost drowning, and some people canoeing to get across. The images taken on Saturday after Volusia County got six to seven inches of rainfall. We went through the hurricane and other people, I'm sure, have post-traumatic stress because of what we went through with that. and. It's that's what everybody thought, you know, that that's what was going to happen. Renee Sortman and her Florida Shores neighbors in Edgewater felt helpless after the four hour downpour. It has been exceptional in the last year, but a lot of it, I see that it will go down, but it doesn't go down fast enough because it's disintegrating. These creeks are disintegrating. They're not kept free of debris. We have, I'd say, approximately around 10 canals. Um, it all drains into the Indian River Lagoon, so we are tidal dependent. Mayor Diesel DePew says he was up all night trying to get people help and sent the city's environmental services out to assess any damage. If I had to guess an approximate number of homes that actually had water in their home, it'd be around five. We need to search solutions. We certainly need to take a look at our managing style in our city. We may have to, to get some consulting firms in here to really sort this out. Some neighbors worry about construction down the road. They tell us as new developments go up, water flows downhill closer to their homes. I understand that we have to move forward, but we could do it responsibly and not where they're piled up next to each other for the almighty dollar. You know, we could do nice lot lines and have water somewhere to go. It just makes sense. Where's it going to go? The mayor encourages people to reach out if they need help. In fact, city council will hold a special meeting tomorrow. Some neighbors tell us they plan to show up to voice their concerns. We're live in Volusia County, Senegabergatigas, Washington News.